I shot all, all the pictures, um, 100 rolls of Kodachrome, 3,000 photographs in 10 days, quite a busy day. And, and remember that I'm photographing on the run because I'm with the graffiti writers. We're being chased very often, even in the street, by the police because they don't like people photographing graffiti. Right, so are we on or? We're on, tell me about this photo. Look, the, the first edition, which is now a collector's item, is known in the graffiti world as the Bible. And uh, photographs in this new edition are the photographs pretty much as I shot them. They are not, he, he, some of the photographs in the original Faith of Graffiti were cropped by the art director. I personally was shooting not only the physical graffiti writing of the name, the, uh, the, the logo, tag name, but I was also very concerned with capturing the context of, of this form of street art as I saw as a photojournalist. So I, I think the book becomes a kind of retro nostalgic uh, look back at, at an era, an era when, when things were different. Uh, we chose um, um, Redbird in the Bronx as the photograph is now for the cover for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a great photograph. Uh, secondly, it shows the, the context of the city, uh, the name Stay High 149 on the train. Um, the New York Times book review did a review of that book by Corinne Robbins. And uh, she criticized Norman Mailer's essay, but she loved my photographs. And she said that I had made a beautiful book from what was essentially vandalism. And uh, in fact, uh, Norman Mailer's essay, was, he was the first major critic to call graffiti art.